I have a problem with dice. Today I will compare two programs which I use to create my own dice and show you how I make my own dice sets from scratch. To create our own set of dice we have to design them, then we have to print it, make a mold out of it and I forgot that we have to send it as well. Well, we have to send it and then make a mold out of it and after we made the mold we can put resin inside of it. And then we hope for the best that it turned out good and if it turned out good we can paint the dies so let's see if we get to the end and can paint dies okay let's start with designing our set of dies there are two different applications first you can use a 3d modeling application like blender or um, there was a guy named igor zabiashko um, and he created the application called Dice Maker and I will figure out which one will be better. So let's see. After spending a lot of time searching for some nice fonts for the dice which are free for commercial use, I decided to go with a more sci-fi-ish look for the first set. I made a scalable vector file with all the numbers I need, imported them to Blender and created meshes of those numbers. To put on the right number onto the right side of the dice, I followed a tutorial which I will link down below. If you want to follow that tutorial, make yourself aware that you will hear lots of rotate the dice by 72 5 degree on the x-axis, apply, if you know you know. <laughs> Most of the dice are pretty easy to make it really starts to get complicated with a d20, where you need to rotate the dice by weird degrees and may or may not apply the rotation and, oh well, that definitely is a downside of using Blender. Overall, it took me over four hours to make the whole set. After finishing the whole set in Blender, I was searching for another usable font and so I thought I would go for a more fantasy-ish look. And the experience creating dice in that application are so different. I just imported the font I want and created the dice I want. It also offers a variety of different dice like the D4 in crystal or teardrop or a rhombic D6 or D12. That's amazing. I moved the numbers around, was able to adjust the dice how I need them and exported them. All in all, that took me around half an hour. Needless to say that this application absolutely won when it comes to creating dice sets. It's so easy and you can use every font you like. You can even use images and everything. Okay, so we now have two set of dice digitally. We want to have them physically, so let's slice them. I use Lichet Slicer for that because I understood that program the fastest. I learned the hard way that it seems to be the best solution to rotate one of the point of the dice downwards and put the support onto the edge of every edge which faces the build plate. This takes a while and after that's done I can print it. Let me tell you, I printed some of the dice few times. I will tell you why when I send the dice. If you print anything, you always will have some grooves in your printing just because it's printed in layers. Those layers are the reason why everything looks dull. To make them see-through and shiny, we need to sand them. And sanding is one of my favorite parts. Not. I used my disk sander for that and started with a grid of 1500, then 3000, 5000 and finally 10000. The reason why I had to print some dice more often is that especially the D20 has very small faces and is hard to send and I send it down too much. Also I saw a little issue on one of the D4s and also I thought it would be cool to have a rhombic D6 and D12 for the sci-fi die set. So I made some new in the Dice Maker app. Maybe I also made a new D4 crystal in that app. After sanding, it's finally time for the mold. 
I learned my lesson last time and glued the dice onto the ground, poured silicone above the and everything went great. I probably will model my own mold making uh, thing. What you can't see here is I also poured the lid for the dice after the first pour cured. After curing that I have finished decent silicone mold. Now it's getting to an end. Let's pour resin into the mold. The goal was to see if I sanded enough so I needed a transparent color and decided to use some alcohol based colors. The green color I use is UV reactive so might be a cool effect. To compare my molds I also have an older mold I bought from Etsy once. I already used it for a while and know it's quite nice. 24 hours later in the pressure pot I was able to demold the dice finally and they look quite good. There's some flushing on the side which isn't that nice but easy to cut off. While I paint the dice a quick summary. There are minor things which can be better and I try to figure out how to make better molds with less flashing sticking on the dice. The Dice Maker app is amazing and I will use it for every new set of dice now. Overall, I think I will soon be able to sell my own sets. Let me know in the comments below what color scheme for the dice you would love to see. I try to make some of your suggestions and post the demold process as shorts or reels or on TikTok. Or maybe just everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. If you like crafting and art videos and don't want to miss any videos I post, consider subscribing. If you like that video, I would be very happy if you leave a like and a comment to help me reach more people who also like to see videos like this. And now, enjoy the last glamour shots. We will see us in the next video.